So here we have Black History Month in February, right? <laughs> now what I'm going to show you, uh, I ain't going to lie, it kind of really made me uh, just say, wow. Like, I could not believe what I found here. And so we got Black History Month. You know, I don't participate in it because it's uh, black. I've read the etymology of it. I've read articles here online about the people in Czechoslovakia uh, and how they call themselves black because I just wanted to see if there was anything else out there, you know. Um, I've spoken to somebody that works at a hospital. They told me a story uh, here recently about how uh, they had patients there. And uh, they were calling each other, uh, well, a gentleman was calling an older woman uh, black. And that woman, you know, in American society and the caste system that we live in, you know, you would just say, oh, that's a white woman. But come to find out, they're from overseas. They know what that word really means. And they chuckled at the idea that we call ourselves black. They're like, no, where's the real black woman? <laughs> so just bear with me. House Joint Resolution 121. Look at that. Hold on, it just bear with me for a moment. HJ Res.121, a joint resolution designating February 1984 as American History Month. That wasn't that long ago, right? 1984. So you got to ask yourself, how come it went from American History Month in February to Black History Month? When did it change? Why did it change? Is it just fooling around? But then again, we know Merriam-Webster's 1828 definition of an American, don't we? That's frustrating. 